Do you want to finally learn how to hit beautiful top spin forehands? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step formula that's going to help you do that. And at the end of this video, I've got a free gift for you, so you want to make sure you stay tuned for that. It's going to help you transform your forehand to the next level. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you turn on your notifications, and you give us a like at the end of this video. Let's get going right now. Okay, before we start, real quick, I have a new videographer today and I can't decide if I should pay her or not. So what I want you to do is at the end of this video, let me know if she should get paid. If you think she did a great job, go ahead and type it in the comments below. We need to find out if we're gonna hire this young, talented videographer. All right, let's get started. First step, it's an obvious one, but it's one that players miss a lot, is the grip. So how the heck do you hold the grip? Well. You wanna put your hand on the racket like this, okay? Semi-Western grip or even an Eastern grip like this, I prefer the semi-Western. Now, if I put the racket down on the ground, if I just grab it like this, now I'm in that semi-Western grip. You see, the mistake that players make is that when they swing the racket, they hold it more like this, and this creates tension. I call this a block grip with the fingers squished together. We wanna to spread that index finger like this we call this the trigger finger. And if it's spread like this, now you can have feel in the hand when you swing the racket. Because when you come over here, now you can feel your ability to brush up the back of the ball like this. When you swing, you're brushing up the back of the ball. If you have the block grip and you swing, it's gonna be more like this. You're gonna be blocking the ball. You're not going to be able to get that feel with the hand. Also, one little quick tip for you, when you hold the racket, try to get the heel of the hand off of the racket like this. This is an advanced tip. A lot of players I see are very choked up. You can hit topspin this way, but you're gonna lose out on a lot of power. All right, so that's the first step, getting the grip down. I prefer that semi-Western grip. Again, most club players are gonna be in that Eastern and they really have a hard time when that knuckle is right here. When that knuckle is here, it's hard for the player to get a lot of topspin. That's why I like it to slide a little bit more this direction. Get this index finger on this bevel right here so you can brush up the back of the ball. Let's move on to the next step. The next step, we're going to focus on <clears throat> making a strong first move. So you make a strong first move where you pull your arm across the body like this. Okay, look at this arm right here. It's almost straight. It's not totally locked out, but it's also not bent like this. When you make this move, you just focus on the elbow away from the body and you pull your arm across like this. A lot of players talk, they, a lot of coaches talk about making a unit turn. I don't really use that term because when I hear people say unit turn and then I see players do this, turning sideways, it's not really what I'm looking for. So what I want you to focus on doing is one little quick hint for you is in the ready position, get the racket angled like this. If you want to hit more topspin on your forehand, I see a lot of players starting in the ready position like this, then they take the racket back and they're not able to generate as much topspin. So start in a ready position with your elbows relaxed, not out and stiff like this. I see coaches teach this still. I don't really condone this if you want to hit great topspin. There's just too much tension. You relax the elbows, you angle the racket, and you make a great first move with your arm across like this. That's the beginning stages, once you get the grip down, of hitting a beautiful topspin forehand. Let's move on to the next tip. This is about dropping the racket underneath the ball. So remember that phrase, what goes up must come down? When you start up like this with the racket tip up in this first move, guess what? You have to learn how to drop underneath the ball. A lot of players, they start up like this and then they, they come right behind the ball and they're not able to generate topspin. So you have to make sure your hand is relaxed and you let the racket head drop. One little tip that I can give you is you wanna feel like the tip of the racket is pointing down towards the ground. So when you drop the racket, when you drop the racket, you wanna feel like the tip of the racket is going down towards the ground. That can only happen if this wrist is relaxed. If you are locked, see how I'm squeezing very tight. You're not gonna be able to drop the racket 
if you squeeze really tight like this, okay? So you have to make sure that the, the racket is relaxed so the tip of the racket can drop down towards the ground. That's your next step. Let's go with the final step here that we're gonna talk about today and it's the finish. I'm skipping ahead. I'm even skipping past contact right now because my belief is that if you get the finish right, you can hit great topspin forehands. So you've, you've got your grip, you've made your first move. You learn how to drop the racket towards the ground like this. So the tip of the racket is down and all you have to do is finish high and over the shoulder. So you're gonna focus on finishing the swing like this and notice that I'm over the shoulder like this. That's my low to high swing path. And I'm focusing on what I call the wrist break. Now this is controversial, but give it a shot because a lot of players when they swing, when they finish like this, they don't break the wrist enough to get enough topspin. So you wanna focus on that when you're swinging. So at the end of the swing, finish high over the shoulder and break the wrist. All right, so let's review this. You're going to focus on these steps. The first step, you're gonna focus on the grip. You're gonna make sure that you get that beautiful semi-western grip or eastern grip, okay? The next step, you're gonna get a nice shoulder turn with the arm across, okay? The third step, you're gonna work on dropping that racket head down towards the ground like this. And the fourth step, you're gonna swing low to high, finishing over the shoulder and doing what I call the wrist break method. If you don't break the wrist, it's going to be a little harder for you to get at the top spin. So I want you at the very end to see if you can get that wrist to break. At the end, not during the swing, get that palm up towards the sky, get the strings up towards the sky and see how much top spin you start to hit. Now, I had an absolute blast making this video today. So how do you feel about not getting paid for this experience? I feel like I got ripped off. <laughs> now tell me how you really feel. I feel angry. Show me how angry you are. <laughs> She's very angry. Now before you go, Make sure you give us that like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you turn on your notifications. And that free gift that I wanna give you, I wanna help you out because there are three mistakes that players are making on their forehands and I don't want you to make these mistakes anymore. So click the link below this video or somewhere in this video and we're gonna get you those three forehand mistakes right now. I wanna take your game to the next level. I wanna help you out with your forehand and the rest of your game. So go ahead and click below this video or somewhere inside this video and we'll see you at the next lesson.